guys welcome or welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is Shade Marie and welcome in today's video we are doing the last boxy charm of the year you guys December can y'all believe it we made it y'all so yes I have my December boxy charm here and we are going to test out these items but before we hop into this don't forget to thumbs up this video as well as subscribe if you enjoyed now let's get into it All right, so I already looked inside of this box so I already know what I need to put on off camera and on camera. So the theme of this box is tis the season to be extra, oh for being extra, my bad y'all. So yes, let's just dive on in. So the first thing that I have is this LYS Triple Fix Full Coverage Brightening Concealer in the color DN3. I'm hoping this is actually a brightening concealer and not like my shade. It's cause they do have like the little thing up here. And you guys can see it. So hopefully it is my shade. Uh, shade for it's like brightening goes. Now if it's my shade, like my actual skin tone, then I'll just use it to um, spot conceal. If I can get this open my lord okay so this is what this looks like very chic and you know lys does that triangle design for everything so this is what the if it focus will it focus i don't know if it's going to focus but this is what the applicator looks like now let's do a swatch mm. this is the swatch and it somewhat matches my skin tone but even then it's a little bit darker so i won't be able to use this as a brightening concealer it will have to be used as under my foundation as maybe a corrector or um spot concealing but unfortunately, I won't be able to use it for brightening purposes. But yeah, that's that. Next in the box, we got a lipstick from I, IBY Beauty. This is a new brand to me. Oh shit, I forgot to tell you how much the, um, this is. This retails for $18. And this lipstick retails also for $18. So this is the packaging here, super cute. It's like this ombre pink color and the color is called SoCal. So it's like a mauvey pink color, super pretty for the fall and winter time. Um, even for the springtime and you can always just lighten it up in the middle if you want to um, give it a little more contrast. So really cute, very moisturizing. Next in the box is this Solution Vital Boost Even Skin Tone Daily Moisturizer from Gold Fadden MD, which is a new brand of Boxy Charm, and this retails for $75. And the problem for this one is for un uneven skin tone. So if you have un uneven skin tones, this is the moisturizer for you. You're supposed to use it daily, um, obviously morning and night. And yeah, so. I have another moisturizer to add to my collection. I think I already have one that I need to use after I finish my CeraVe one. But doesn't hurt to have another one ready to go. Two more items in this box and then we can get started on testing these things out. I have something from Lawless. This is their one and done long wear volumizing mascara in the color Nightlife. This retails for $25. And this is the packaging of mascara. So it is a big boy. This is a big baby. And it looks like it's um, not a brush tip, like a silicone tip. So we shall see how I feel about that. And last but not least, we have some sponges from a brand called Pink Lips. Cosmetics, never heard of them before, but this retails for $18 and it is a flawless sponge set. 
So you can either use it dry or um or wet. I normally use my sponges wet. Never really used dry sponges before. But they said you can use them dry if you want more of a full coverage foundation. I'm sorry, not foundation, a full coverage application. But yeah, so these are it. You get a light pink one and then you get a dark pink one. Super soft. Wonder how big they get. So yeah, we're going to wet these and then we're going to get started on testing out these items. Alright, so sponges are, well, this one of the sponges are wet. So I just wanted to give you guys a comparison. So this is dry and this is wet. And it's not that much of a big comparison of like how big it can get compared to like if you was doing like a regular beauty sponge or like the um, real technique sponges. But it's big enough. And if you can see, this one has a longer um, flat edge, which... I guess it's better for all over application compared to this one, but I just figured I'd go with the, you know, with that one. So we're going to test out the concealer first. I'm going to use it as a spot concealer under the eyes as well as, um, well, use it for spot concealing and use it under my eyes and then put mascara, not mascara, no, I can't even talk, put my foundation over top and the foundation we want to use today is my Juvia's Place Velvety Matte Foundation. Okay, so that um, concealer did brighten up, not brighten up, but like conceal my dark circles and everything. So yeah, that's why we use this just as like a spot concealer or underneath of the eyes and that's it. So, all right y'all. So y'all know how I was supposed to have like a whole dedicated video to the coffee shop collection from Genius Place. That never happened. So. We're just going to test it out in this video as well. So y'all get the two in one type of video, y'all. So this is the coffee shop palette and it is 16 pans, I believe. The artwork on these packaging is beautiful. So this is what the palette looks like from the outside. And then these are all the colors here. So this is like every melanated uh neutral palette girls dream okay because it gives you everything that you need in a neutral palette love it so now i don't know what i'm going to do um and I, I don't know what i'm going to do because i have on this bright yellow shirt and it says merry christmas and it's like has some neutrals in it so obviously i just want to keep everything neutral and everything so yeah we're just going to I'm gonna figure something out and then we're just gonna test out this baby <laughs> I can hardly speak, I 
All right, so this is the look that I came up with. It's not what originally I was going to do, but it is what it is. So let's test out the Lawless Mascara. Like I said, it has like silicone brushes, not um, regular brushes. So if you like silicone brushes, then this will be for you. If not, then it's not for you. But I don't know exactly what it's supposed to do. Is it supposed to give you volume or what? It's just, just the one and done. So I'm assuming it's supposed to give you lift and volume um, with this mascara. So we shall see. Okay, so this is the mascara. Um... I like mascaras when they're like semi dry so this is super wet but it definitely is super black and whatnot but it doesn't give that much volume to my lashes but it's not really a big deal just because I wear false lashes anyway so I'm going to test out this lash glue liner from KISS I used it one time but I'm telling y'all it was a struggle bus but we're going to use it anyway and I want to test it out on camera with you guys so I'm going to prep my lashes these are the kiss pompadour lashes just because they're um, fluffy but they're natural at the same time they have a little bit of drama but not that much where it's like you're over to do overdoing it for the daytime so I'm just going to prep these. And I'm doing group to tip. Okay. Now the only thing about this liner because it's white um, if you have like black liner on or as I did use eyeshadow as my liner that it will get all over the tip so if that's the issue for you then I say go with the black one but it's not really a big deal for me. Okay, so. okay so this time around wasn't that much of a big deal. I still had like a little bit of space, but I can just uh, fix that with, you know, liner in the thing. And then for under my eyes, I'm just going to use what I use for my liner on the bottom row. And then last thing we have left is lips. Okay, guys, so we at the tail end of this video. So now let's do our lips. Lord, do our lips. So I'm going to take one of the liners from the Coffee Shop collection in the color Coffee Bean and use that as our liner. Okay, so now I'm going to take the IBY Beauty Lipstick in SoCal. Okay, so this is what the look, the lip looks like. No, I don't know why I can't talk right now, y'all. What the lip looks like with the liner. So, because this is a moisturizing lipstick, I don't need to put a gloss over top of it. You can if you want to, but I'm just going to leave it alone as it is. However, the Coffee Shop collection also comes with like, I think, 16, 12, I'm sorry, comes with 12 lip glosses which I do plan on doing a lip swatch video so if you want to see what the lip glosses look like on my skin tone then go check out my TikTok and you can see what they look like. I will be doing them without the liner though. It's going to be lip gloss only, no liner. So that wraps up this video so let me do what I need to do which is do the calculations for everything and then give you guys a rapid 
um, and then give you guys a rapid review of everything. So December's box was $154 and the most expensive thing in that box was the moisturizer for $75. And I will say everything that I use minus the moisturizer, I will definitely be keeping in my makeup collection. You know, normally I always give something away to like my sister or something, but I really enjoyed every last one. I wish this was in a um, lighter color. So if I really do like it, if it doesn't make my um, under eyes crease, then I will plan on picking up a lighter color, but it's perfect for spot concealing or just to use as a barrier before you put on foundation and then putting on a lighter concealer. I really do like it. I'm going to have to keep testing out the mascara. I do like this brush, but it is a little bit too wet, so I do need for it to dry just a, just a tad, just a tad, but really love it. The, um, well, I can't say really love it, but really enjoyed it. The lipstick is a regular lipstick. It's moisturizing, so it's not drying on the lips or anything like that. And it's a beautiful color. I'll have to check and see. I don't know if it's $18 worth, though. But still have to go see. And as far as the sponges go, they're regular sponges. You can get them from anywhere. There's nothing really special. So I wouldn't waste $18 on a sponge. Well, even though this is a set, so it might be $6. Who knows? I don't know. But... I can get a five pack of sponges from AOA Studios for five dollars. Okay, and they are my favorite. I think they're more soft, more durable than Beauty Blender's sponges. And I had plenty of them and I prefer the AOA ones and they're only five dollars. But I will say get the ones that come in the pack that has like the little kitty on it. Those are way, way softer than if you went and got like the black one or the nude one for aesthetic purposes or something those are not as soft so i will say that however i really enjoyed my box this month and i see you guys next year with the january boxy charm but anyway if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give the video a thumbs up as well as subscribe and turn your bell notifications get notified when i upload my next video i love you guys thank you so much for the support over the years and i will be back Hopefully, with one more video before the year is up. You know, just discussing what my plans are for 2023 with this channel, with my vlogging channel, with everything that's going on. But we shall see. So, yeah. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.